Hi everyone, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to camouflage the scope on your hunting rifle. I was always wondering why is it that guns come in colors from nature, such as forest green, like this one has a nice forest green synthetic finish. You can also buy your gun with a wooden stock, which is brown, or already camo dipped. And yes, sometimes they are black, but usually they have colors from nature, yet the scope is always black. So I was trying to find ways to camouflage the scope and have it match the gun and the surroundings. So first I found camo tape, and there are two types. One has a cloth-like finish, it actually stretches, there's really beautiful patterns and they have all kinds of patterns you could choose from, and they're great. I actually used them on my guns before and it gave it a really nice grip, but it's not intricate enough for your scope. Uh, so the other type is actual tape. It's, it's just like a regular tape. It will stick on the surface and then you could cut it or shape it such as I did with my bow. As you can see, this was white originally, so that was just not the right color. But as you can see, it's, it's pretty. And then once I put it on, I could take a razor and just shave it off. And it works really well, but it would not work with a scope. So in this video, first I'm gonna show you the things you need to do this. Then I'm going to actually paint this scope. This is my last one that I have not painted yet. And then I'm gonna show you some pictures and explain the process that I had done before because I painted several scopes already, a forerunner, a couple of lanterns, some boxes, some helmets, all kinds of things that I was just messing around with and they all turned out great and I learned from each one. So I'm going to show you all of those. So stay tuned. These are the things you will need. Um, first of all, you will need a trash bag because you want to tape around or cover up your gun and tape around it that is if you don't want to take off your scope. I didn't because then you have to put it back on and side it in all over again. You will of course need tape because you need to tape over anything you don't want painted such as the lenses, obviously, um, any settings, numbers, maybe even the logo of your scope. You wanna tape over and then simply it will stay the way it is. Um, you don't want to use duct tape. You could use almost any other kind of tape but this is too sticky. You don't want this on your lenses and it's just too too hard. You could use masking tape or anything. Um, you need some plants, right? This is what is gonna be your stencil. And this is the kind you want to use because the paint can go through it and it will leave this mark. If you're up in the mountains, it's easy to get them because you have a lot of variations. These are just the bushes behind my house and they will work fine. You don't want to use something like this unless it's a huge um, surface. The scope is just simply not big enough because you want the edges to show. Maybe you could do that and then, and then paint over it, but this is usually not the best thing to use. But I'm gonna try it out and see what happens. And you want this bag. When you go to the store and you buy onions, they come in this bag. And this will work great if you want to achieve that uh, snake skin look. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Of course, you will need scissors because you will need to cut up the tape and everything else. And I don't want to mess up my hands, so I'm going to use uh, gloves. Then you will need spray paint. So even if it says camouflage on it, it doesn't have to be like that. Just, you can just choose your own colors. But you probably want to get black, not necessary, but you definitely want to get dark brown and possibly different sh shades of brown. And I'm going to show you what you can do with this one. At least a dark green and possibly a light green because depending on what your gun looks like and where you're going, you might wanna use that. You also need beige, which I don't have right now because I used it up, I use it all the time, but I didn't wanna use it this time so I didn't buy anymore. Um, you will need clear. This is your top coat to protect your paint. And I don't know if it shows, but it's supposed to be matte. You don't want it to be shiny or glossy because then your scope will just attract and reflect the light. You're trying to hide it, not show it off, right? So I'm gonna show you what I did with this color. This is my 22. Um, of course, when you handle firearms, you wanna practice safety. The magazine is out, nothing in here. So you see the wooden stock is almost that same caramel color. So I used that. I used beige, that caramel brown, 
and dark brown and these very same plants from my house because I did it right here as you can see I made the mistake of using a shiny uh, top coat because that's what I had at home and it's kind of shiny so I'm gonna paint over with this one but that's what that looks like and then this was the first scope I ever painted and yes this is also unloaded there's nothing in it and I actually only had the brown and the beige the gun is already uh, camo dipped and I was trying to match it but I only had brown and beige the dark brown and I just used some pine needles actually it's very very simple and it still turned out great it still matches um, you see simple is always great so let's tape up this gun and get started so here it is all taped up I ended up using some newspaper because I didn't want to use uh, more than one trash bags and this will be fine so I put some over here too so basically you're going to tape everything up nice and tight and then tape over anything you don't want to paint over so the settings and the dial things like that uh, make sure you double check everywhere because once you once you paint it that's it and then of course your lenses you want to do that even though I have this cover I still taped it because it is easy to take off the tape but not so easy the paint so before you do anything you want to try out your plants so here's one this is kind of okay uh, as you could see it did leave a mark so it's kind of all right uh, this oak looking leaf is better than I thought it would be but I think that scope is too small for this if you're painting anything bigger than that I think you could go ahead and use this but you're only focusing on the edges you see that um, this one definitely not the best and this is this is the best one this one because you have all this space in between and of course that's why you need to have gloves because you're going to be pressing it down as you paint it but this is what you want if you paint something like this the paint is not gonna go through that it's just going to be a big a big shape and that's it and this is how you do that snakeskin look with this you just put it on and you paint it and that's basically it so let's get this scope painted and I'm just going to use that forest green because as you could see the color is this green and black and that's only two colors I'm going to use if I was to use that caramel brown or the beige it would just stand out more than anything so you don't want to do that So the paint is dry and although it perfectly matches the stock of the gun I'm afraid it's a little bit dark once I add the black so I went and found my lighter green spray paint and I already tried it out on my table and this will actually be perfect so I'm gonna use this to make that um, snakeskin look are 
I gave it a couple of more layers with the clear coat and I'm actually very happy the way it turned out because it is not shiny at all. It actually has sort of a velvety look. And once I took off the tape from everywhere, which was kind of hard to find, it was so well camouflaged. I love it because it doesn't stand out. It's not supposed to, right? It's supposed to blend in and it perfectly matches my gun. So let me show you a little close up. Of course, I already checked this before. There's nothing in here. So here we go. As you can see, the green completely matches, blends in so much better than it was before and you could see all the dials and everything i'm not sure if you can but i can so before we finish here i want to give you a couple of tips number one you want to do this outside because you want to have a ventil a well ventilated area but i did this in my garage because it was windy outside and you don't want to paint when it's windy and it is Memorial Day weekend, so all the neighbors are having a barbecue, they're partying, music is bumping, dogs are barking, so it was quieter here. And I do have one window open and three doors, so it was pretty well ventilated and much more quiet. Just a little hot, but it actually was all right. Number two, you want to make sure that you only use this on metal. So your scopes are always metal, that's not a problem. But the reason I don't paint my gun is because, for example, this is a synthetic stock. It's basically plastic. And if you try to paint on plastic, it doesn't dry for a long time. The colors will sort of blend together. It's not gonna be as sharp. And it's just not gonna work. I actually have a lantern here that I tried before. I don't know if you can see it. I tried to achieve that pink and brown camo and it kind of turned out okay but it took forever for it to dry and the colors kind of blended together for a lantern it's okay but I wouldn't want my scope like that so don't use plastic another thing is I don't know if you noticed that when I was spray painting I didn't just push it I was doing this first and then I pushed the button the reason for that is because if you just start spraying you're gonna have all that paint go in one spot and it's gonna go through your pattern. So if you try to go through this, it's gonna be so much paint that it's gonna blend together and it will be just a big spot. And then it will start dripping. It's not good. If you don't push enough, then it, you might just have these speckles come out and it could be okay sometimes, but that's not what you want. Another thing is, which I have done, is that you try to um, aim over here and it ends up going over there because you're not quite sure how to hold it So I have learned this along the way is that you want to have a light hand You start moving your hand and then you start spraying and that way you're not going to have all that paint going to one spot You're not gonna go to the wrong spot and it's just gonna work out really nice. So that's another thing Another tip is that you just need to go for it you can't really mess it up. As long as you tape up everything you want to see later, then you just, just go for it. Because if you mess it up, if you did too much or not at the right spot, you can always sort of start over by going another layer and then, that, and then you just do it again. You just don't want to have like 50 different layers, but I don't think you're going to mess up, mess up that much. The only thing is with the snake skin look, once you do too much, and then you really have to start over so don't try to cover it up too much so if you stick around i'm going to show you a couple of pictures about some of the things that i've done it's pretty much the same process but just different looks and like i said before i learned from each one so take a look at those but otherwise i want to thank you so much for watching this video i'm hoping that you learned something and that I was helpful. And if so, then please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you tried it out, let me know how it turned out. And I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button because that would let me know that you really truly enjoyed it. So once again, thank you so much.